Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be starting a series for the first time on this channel, and it's going to be a warehouse build series. So, most of you don't know, or probably all of you don't know, but I am actually an engineer by trade, and I work in a distribution center and warehouse. So, I kind of have an understanding of how warehouse is designed, what goes into designing a warehouse, and kind of what makes a warehouse efficient. So I figured I'd pass that knowledge along and share with you. Now, this video is not going to be a structural video. There's not going to be anything related to um, load-bearing walls or anything like that. It's simply going to be just the bird's-eye view of a warehouse and what you do as an industrial engineer inside of a warehouse. So there will be walls that I'm creating, but it's going to be more for visual purposes. You would not be able to turn this into, say, a city and get a sign-off from an actual professional engineer in the civil engineering field for this warehouse. So anyways, we're going to start off with the series and just make this part one. And for part one, we're going to be doing an inner wall. So for the first little bit of this video, I actually did a little bit of pre-work for it. And what I did was I created an outline of just two sides of the walls for the building column. Now, every building or warehouse that you're in will have exposed building columns because the warehouse will not be able to support its roof through just its walls. So you will have columns spaced out in a warehouse. Now this can vary uh, differently industry to industry or almost space to space as far as warehouse goes. But for these columns, we have them spaced out at roughly 54 inches from center to center. Excuse me, 54 feet from center to center. And the columns themselves are actually one foot by one foot. So, one foot by one foot, and then you have uh, 54 feet in between each column. And the column will actually span throughout the entire building. So, for this first little bit, we're going to grab this right here. And this is going to be the one side of the wall right here, and this is going to be the other. So, we are going to copy this and go all the way down. So, right here, we're going to go to this next one right here. Zoom out. Next one. And the building columns are going to be all uniform throughout the entire building. So they're all going to be 54 feet from center to center from each other. And that's where we just took this and we're copying it down to create a square of building columns. So as you can see, I have now a grid pattern of building columns. And this will be the existing footprint for our current warehouse. Alright, so the next thing we're going to put into this warehouse design are actually the walls. So the walls typically are concrete and they're going to be delivered in slabs and then stood up. But again, since we're not dealing with the whole building and construction of this and more of just a layout perspective, I'm not going to get too much into that. So... For the concrete walls, you're looking typically between 8 to 12 inches thick, but we're going to go right in the middle there, and we're going to start off with just 10 inches thick, and I'm going to actually grab this line right here. And since our concrete walls are going to be on the edge of the slabs, or the slabs will be put, excuse me, not slabs, uh, uprights will be put into the concrete wall, we're just going to go and run the wall along the uprights. So right here, we're going to stop right there. We're going to go right here, we'll come down to the next corner, we're going to go right there, Whoop. I'm going to delete that line real quick, come back, we'll come right there, Be right there. Now we have the interior wall, but we want to put the exterior wall as well. So you're not going to be able to really see it when you zoom out, but when you zoom in, you want to make sure that you have about 10 inches of wall space in there. So we're going to come right here. We're going to go out 10 inches. Come in. And you can also create a square if you will, if you're feeling like doing the math. I personally just like doing it this way because uh, it just really doesn't bother me. We're going to go 10 inches outside of this to come down around make sure here 
And then we're going to go another 10 inch line down here, enter. Bring that over. Then we're going to go, we're going to stop right here. Then we're going to go another 10 inches. Enter. There we go. Come up to this point right here and connect it, exit out, and then we will trim this line. And right here, we now have our warehouse wall. So, as you can see, it's a 10 inch wall, and our warehouse is roughly let's dimension it out 326 feet. by 380 feet. So 326 by 380. So uh, not a perfect square by any stretch, more of a rectangle, but this is going to be a small distribution center or warehouse building. All right, so I've deleted the dimensioning of the drawing, but the next thing we want to do is we want to create the warehouse wall and the warehouse columns as blocks. So what a block does is, is it allows us to essentially have everything select into one object when you just touch it or select it in an individual area. So it'll make more sense once we get into it, but what we're going to do is we're going to select the wall. We want every little bit of the wall, and we want to make sure that the wall is one block itself. So once we get everything here, we'll come down here, we want to make sure we got every little bit of the block, or the wall, excuse me. So everything is selected on the wall. Now we're going to go up here to the block underneath the Home tab. And we're going to click Create. And we are going to name it Warehouse Wall, and click Okay. Now, if I hover over it, the entire wall will select. So I can select it. Every time I hover over it, the entire wall is there. So in hindsight and before you do this, it is recommended to create blocks as you're going so you don't have to go back and create them. It's just almost as easy if you go back and create them, but it's a little bit easier if you don't do it. So for these right here, the center columns, where we're going to create them as a block as well. We're going to create all the center columns as one block too. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to select one. And instead of going around and selecting every little individual column that I have to do here, I'm going to take this that I selected, right click, and then go to select similar. And as you can see, it selects all of the building columns in the drawing. We're going to go back up here to create. And then we're going to name this one building oop, column. We're going to click OK. And as you can see, all the building columns are now under one block too. So if I want to select a building column, I select them. And there you go. All the building columns select. So we're not going to put everything under one block. And we're not going to block everything out in this drawing. But specific things that you want to stay together are the things that you want to use the block for. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do for this episode is we're going to put the warehouse walls and the building columns into two separate layers. So as you can see, we just blocked out everything, but right now we're also gonna put those into two separate layers. The way we're gonna do this is we're gonna go up into the layers box underneath the home tab. We're gonna left click, and it's gonna bring down this layers box. And then we're gonna right click, and as you can see, it's giving us options to set current, new layer, rename layer, delete layer, all of it. We're going to go to new layer, and it's giving us the option for a new layer. So we want to make one of the layers warehouse wall, enter, and then let's create another one, new layer, and we want to go for building columns, enter. Now this is something you want to do very regularly. You don't want to wait till the end to create new layers for everything. That can become problematic. It can make everything hectic. It can just become a very big annoyance. So now that we have our um, layers made, we're going to 
exit out of this and we're going to now assign the layers. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down, we're going to left click on or select the building columns and then we're going to go back up to the layers box, left click on this and we're going to switch it to building columns. We're going to escape so we can get out of the selection and as you can see it's a zero right now up in the layers uh, drop down menu but when I go and select one of these it goes to building columns. So we're going to escape now and do the same exact thing with the warehouse wall. We're going to select it, come up here, go to warehouse wall, and then escape. As you can see, when I select the warehouse wall, it goes to warehouse wall up here. So the next thing we're going to do, the last and final thing we're going to do here, is we're going to lock these two layers because you don't want to be making adjustments to these two layers. When I have to move stuff around, I understand that the building columns cannot be moved. Everything else, such as... MHE or any other equipment inside the building can be moved, but the building columns in the warehouse wall cannot. So we want to make sure those are locked and unmovable. So the way we're going to do that is drop down here. We're going to click this lock or unlock layer, and we're going to hit the building columns and the warehouse wall, and then we're going to click out of it. And what this allows us to do is still see those uh, layers in there, but it doesn't allow us to move them, rotate them, or anything like that. They are unmovable, they are locked. So let's try and move it. As you can see, it gives me this little uh, lock logo and doesn't allow me to actually select the layer. So they're there, you can unlock them, but for right now, since we don't want anything to be moved or anything touched with this layer, we have it locked. All right, so that's gonna wrap up the video here. This again is gonna be the first episode of many. I'm not quite sure how long It'll take, it'll probably be close to 10 to 20 episodes, but this is going to be for a small warehouse design. So if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on. I'm going to try and release a video probably once or twice a week for the warehouse design um, series. But yeah, if you like the video, notifications on, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.